Hi, this is John, and I'm here to do a review on the new ZMAX Pro. This is a fantastic phone. And uh, before you go out and you spend $800, $700 on the new Note 8 or, or um, iPhone 8, consider this phone. This phone is $100. It's $100. And this phone can text, make phone calls, take pictures, download, surf the web. You could play games on here. You could watch movies on here. I mean, there's just everything on this phone that you could possibly need on a $1,000 phone or $800 phone that you're gonna have to pay, you know, $24 a month or pay for it in cash, $49 a month, put money down. This is 99 bucks. I got this phone for $140 and the screen it's just beautiful. It's just a, a fantastic screen. The sound quality is good. Came in in the same box as any other cell phone. It has the same, uh, the new charging system. The speakers in the front. You have a camera in the back. You have a flash. You have the, uh, the heart rate monitor in the back here. And uh, you just hit the side. It turns on, you hold down the screen. And there you go, you don't have to slide. And the screen, the screen is just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Before you buy a, 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 Note, a Note 8 with a stylus, here's my Note 4 with a stylus. And believe it or not, I rarely use this stylus. I've tried using it. Maybe the guy from, uh, from Apple with the iPhone, he's correct. Because I've never used this, style, this stylus. This stylus is for just uh, something that the other phone competition doesn't have and it's a stylus. That's all it is. Now, if, if the Note 8 really wanted to impress people, they would have continued with the interchangeable battery and all that stuff. Now, naturally with the Note 8, you're gonna have uh, interchangeable memory that you're not gonna get in the iPhone 8, which is better, in my opinion. Like on my LG V20. You know, I could put 256 gigabytes on this phone. You know, you can't do that with a with a iPhone 8. And I could change the batteries. I have three batteries for this phone. I mean, I can go anywhere. I could do anything with confidence that I'm not going to ever run out of battery power. And the other thing too that's good about this, you know, you the, the LG V20 tap. That's it. So if you have it on your desk like this, you just tap, just like that. Now the, uh, the, the, the Samsung has the button here. I'm not really too sure about the Note 8, if they're gonna have any buttons because, you know, there after that, you know, let me sell you uh, waterproof, uh, you know, all, the, all this stuff, weatherproof. No one's gonna go and jump in the ocean with their cell phone. No one's gonna jump in the pool with their cell phone. No one's gonna talk in their phone in the pouring rain on their cell phone. Nobody. So in reality, you don't need it. You're paying extra money to have something that is really unnecessary. And I'll tell you one thing, this is a $100 phone. And if I throw this phone across the room, no big deal, it's a hundred bucks. It's gonna cost me $175 to replace this phone under my insurance plan. So I have to pay $14 a month for insurance on this LG V20. You're gonna do the same thing on the, on the Note 8, the iPhone 8, because you're paying so much money for that phone. You have to insure it. If you lose that phone or that phone breaks or falls or you, whatever happens to it, you're gonna have to get it replaced and you're not gonna spend another 800 bucks paying for that phone where with the Z Max, who cares? It's a hundred bucks. I got this phone for hundred and forty dollars. I mean, I love this phone. And you know what? If something happens to this phone, I'm gonna buy this phone because over the experience that I've had, the thing that I really love about this phone, it has the wide angle feature. It has great sound recording ability. So those are the main things that I really like about this phone and that's why I bought it. And if I do gonna spend the money on the phone, I'm gonna get a, a, an, an LG V30 because they just have to make them a little better than the Notes and the iPhones because 
you know, they're in competition with them. And why would anybody buy this phone for almost the same money as a regular phone? You know, as, as like the other high brand phones, like the, the, the Samsungs and the iPhones, because that's who they're really competing against. I mean, then you have the Google phone, which is a great phone too. That's a fantastic phone. You know, but nobody's looking after those phones because they're not spending the money or wanting to make you buy their phone. So when you're ready to buy a new phone, which you probably don't need a new phone, you just get this phone right here, the Z Max, 100 bucks, get this for your kids, get this for anybody like your family members that need a phone, you're gonna be a hero, giving them a phone like this for 100 bucks. You know, the only thing that I'm not too sure about this phone is the battery life, because this is not my personal phone. So I'm not really too, you know, like up to date on, uh, on, on the battery life of this phone. It's a light phone, it's not heavy, it's not that big, it's got a huge screen. I mean, look at, look at the screens. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but you know, the screen is gigantic. And when you put this against the iPhone 8 or the, uh, the Note 8, you're not gonna see a hell of a big difference. Those phones are gonna be more massive to get that bigger screen. So you're gonna have like a phablet in your pocket. Like I think the old, I think uh, Samsung had a phablet at one time. A friend of mine had that phone. It, it looked great. You know, it was like a gigantic phone and you could talk in it. Cause you know, a lot of tablets you can't talk in them. So to have a big phone like that as your daily phone, I mean, to me, it's a little bit too big, overboard. I thought this was a big screen. This is a bigger, brighter, nicer screen. I mean, you could watch, you could watch this screen all day long. You know, it's gonna come to a point where people are gonna shut off their cable television sets and watch everything either on their phones or their tablets or their computers because there's, there's you know, it, it, it's a matter of distance. You know, if you have this phone right here like this, it, it's, a, it's a great picture. You know, so th these are gonna really, uh, these are coming a long way. So like, if you really wanna spend the $800 and you wanna help uh, Samsung stay in business, same thing with the iPhone, everybody's like crazy about that phone. An app is an app, people. They all have the same apps. They all surf the internet. They all do exactly the same thing. The only difference between an iPhone and a, and a Z Max and an LG or a Samsung, it's minimal, minimal difference. You could easily go from uh, an Android phone to uh, an Apple phone with no big deal. And, and you know what? A lot of people on the Apple phones, they search Google and Google is the Android. So why would you buy an, an iPhone that is absolutely restricted in buying accessories for it, uh, anything Bluetooth related to it, you can't buy aftermarket stuff, it, you know, you're locked in. Like, why would you wanna lock yourself in? With my, with my uh, V20, I could buy any accessory I want. You know, the batteries are 20 bucks and they're so thin. Let me see if I have one in my pocket. Yeah, so I just have it right in my pocket. Look at that. That's the battery. A thin battery, and I walk around with two of these. So if I go bike riding, or I go shooting, whatever, if I go to the beach, I got battery power all day long. I don't have to walk around with another battery pack that's this big charging my phone. You know, so the, the, you know, the, the main reason another to, to buy the LG V20 is for the battery, interchangeable battery, where no, pretty much no other phone offers it. This Note 4 offered it, and I had five batteries for this. I will never run out of battery power on this. You know, and I have external battery chargers, so I can charge the phone and externally charge the other batteries and have thin batteries, be very portable, and never run out of power. So now, if you need like the, the specifics, the tech on this phone, they're all the same. 
they all have the same operating system one's a little tuned different than the other because you're paying for it naturally the note 8 is going to have a little better camera than this but all that all depends on what your cam what you're going to do with your camera if you're just going to take regular videos of your kids any camera is going to be sufficient to uh, to do that if it's dark in the room you know the cameras are pretty much all going to work the same because don't forget the sensors on these cameras are like microchips they're so small you, you could barely even see it so low light they're all going to technically function the same this camera this this camera this phone in low light is pretty good you know this camera has you know bigger pixels so on low light it's a little better but this is a better camera so you're going to get better footage you know this i haven't tried it but it look you know i tried it in the store and in daylight it works fantastic and most of the time you're going to be shooting during the daytime you're not going to go out at night taking for taking video of anything because it's just too dark you're not you know this has a flash any flash on these phones are going to be good for like three feet four feet maybe five feet tops so that's the other thing you know you're going to have that you know flash is subject distance because the flash is a this little micro dot the same thing on the uh on the lg a little micro dot the note 4 is going to have the same little micro dot you're not going to have this gigantic uh flash on unless you have a bracket you mount this on a bracket you have a video light now you're in business with any phone you put a video light on a, the cheapest video camera and you light it right you're going to get a great results even with high eight with anything you're going to get with pristine results with the proper lighting and that's what it's about and and the camera too has something to do with it but technically cell phones the cameras are just a little bit better just a little bit better than each other not by a great margin you know some cameras like the google camera the google phone is probably has the best camera on the market is what i've heard but this lg is fantastic and you can't change batteries on the google phone like you can on this and you can't go to 256 like you can on this and you don't have dual lenses on the back of this camera like no other no other cell phone has but let's get back to the uh the l the uh the the, the z max that's what the video is about it, it fits good in your hand it looks good it's not that big it fits in your pocket nice and easy just like this i have the incipio screen with it um like this phone i have the uh, incipio it's a pretty good case not the best um but you know here it is fits right in this camera feels fantastic no one will ever know what you're talking on unless they're a snob and i mean if you really care about what people think of your phone you know then you should uh really consider your friends <laughs> but uh anyway you know i really appreciate you guys watching the videos all you new subscribers hey thanks a lot really appreciate the subscribe um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment, let me know if you have uh, the Z-Max, the new one that's out, the Pro, let me know if, uh, what you think of the, uh, the V20, or if you had the, or, you know, if you had hands-on with, uh, with the Note 8, you know, I'm not a, a big time YouTuber, hopefully someday, uh, somebody will send me a phone to review, and I'll be nice, I'll be nice with it, but uh, this is John. I uh, want to thank you guys for uh, watching. Please like again, comment, subscribe, and peace out.